Hello guys, welcome to Hardoor Hacking Tutorials and this is Web Application Pen Testing 101. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about broken access controls again but for forced browsing. Now many websites have administration panels. Almost every web portal has an administration panel. But sometimes these administration panels are not protected by proper access controls. That is, you can just walk around it. Now, the developers think that since the URL of the administration panel is not known to an attacker, the administration panels are quite safe. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Now, in order to look for the administration panel, we can start with viewing the source of the web page. For that, hit Ctrl U or right click on the web page and click on View Page Source. Here, you can see the HTML code and the JavaScript code for the page. Now, going through the page, you can look at different interesting stuff and different files called for the web application. But this file right here looks interesting to me. Now, removing it from the view source mode to look at the file. Hmm. This has a JavaScript code. Now this file juiceshop.min.js is nothing but a miniaturized version of the jQuery.js. So min.js files are generally used as they are faster and smaller for production. So it's nothing different from the normal jQuery as you can see here. Now going through the file is a little difficult and as a pen tester you are expected to go through and look for interesting stuff. Now since we are looking out for an administration panel, an interesting keyword to type here would be admin. Right? So looks like we have an administration service here and we also have a URL slash administration. So let us copy this, paste it in our browser. Now, as you can see, we have the administration panel for this portal. And here we can see the different users that are actually registered for this portal. We can also see the different comments made by different users. Uh, we can even delete them here or check the rating for them and probably approve them as per the customer feedback. We also have some recycling requests here. And if we go ahead and view a user, we are able to see the email address as well as the timestamp when it was created and last updated. So this shows how you can simply access the administration panel by going through a front-end JavaScript file where the path of the administration panel was leaked. This is how the forced browsing works and bypasses the access control and falls under the OWASP category of broken access control. Now this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, God bless you all.